Welcome to the training video on the basics of proper specimen preparation for the BDMAX C. diff assay performed on the BDMAX system. The BDMAX system offers you a simplified and automated workflow, allowing you to run up to 24 samples at a time with less than one and a half minutes hands-on time per sample. You can get 24 patient results in about two hours with the BDMAX C. diff assay. The assay detects Clostridioides difficile toxin B gene, TCDB. For additional instructions and information, always refer to the BDMAX system user's manual and BDMAX C. diff instructions for use. Let's get started. The BDMAX C. diff assay requires stool to be collected from patients and transported to the laboratory as unpreserved specimen. The specimen is inoculated into a sample buffer tube and then vortexed and transferred to the BDMAX system rack. The BDMAX system is loaded with the BDMAX racks containing the prepared sample buffer tubes and assembled unitized reagent strips and the PCR cartridge. The BDMAX system automates sample extraction, nucleic acid amplification, and detection of the target nucleic acid using real-time polymerase chain reaction, PCR. For a full list of equipment and materials required but not provided, please refer to the instructions for use. The performance and accuracy of BDMAX assays require that specimens and components are stored in a safe and stable environment. In order to obtain an adequate specimen, the procedure for specimen collection must be followed closely. Transfer the liquid or soft stool specimen to a dry, clean container. Avoid contamination with water or urine, and avoid mixing toilet paper or soap with the specimen. Label the container and transport to the laboratory according to institutional standard operating procedures. To prepare the sample, follow these steps. First step, label a barcoded BDMAX sample buffer tube with the appropriate specimen identification. Be careful not to obscure, write, or label over the 2D barcode. Second step, vortex the specimen at high speed for 15 seconds. Insert a 10 microliter disposable inoculation loop until the entire loop portion is submerged in the specimen. Do not insert beyond the loop as any additional stool on the shaft can overload the PCR reaction. For soft stool specimens, remove any excess stool present on the outside of the loop in order to obtain approximately 10 microliters. Third step, uncap the sample buffer tube and inoculate as follows. Insert the loaded loop into the sample buffer tube and express the specimen using a swirling motion. Please note, it's not necessary to remove the entire specimen from the loop. The solution in the sample buffer tube should appear tea-stained in color. Fourth step, recap the inoculated sample buffer tube using a septum cap. Fifth step, Place the sample buffer tube in a rack compatible with a multi-tube vortex mixer if available, for example, a cryogenic vial holder or equivalent. Sixth step, prepare any additional specimens for testing by repeating steps one through five. Make sure your gloves are clean before handling additional specimens. Seventh step, vortex all prepared samples simultaneously at maximum speed for one minute with the multi-tube vortex mixer. Now proceed to the BDMAX system operation section in the assay specific instructions for use to perform testing on the BDMAX system. 
We hope this program has helped familiarize you with the proper specimen preparation of the BDMAX C. diff assay on the BDMAX system. If you have any additional questions, please consult the instructions for use, user's manual, or your BD representative.